when did like you realize you realize this is my job it, I, it's not like a hobby this is what i do for a living and this is this is it well <laughs> i actually realized this uh when when the irs came at my door <laughs> uncle sam um with a big 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 fine like really really big fine like i was i was i started when i was 15 uh like a school dropout 14 actually and you know working in a record shop and it was all fun and this is where i saw rocco for the first time because he was selling tickets for awakenings also in the shop where i was working anyway i was 14 at the time and from my 14 till my 17 i was selling records and playing music like you know just for fun and then actually from there on i started playing like in bigger clubs like night town rotterdam now wow rotterdam which were like the hot clubs in rotterdam and holland at that time so before i even knew i was already playing for many many people and i was kind of being you know living this whole other life and i didn't really realize because you know i never really considered myself like i want to be a dj you know i want to play for people I, I'm more, my, my thing is more with the music itself. I just want to hear the music really loud. So I don't really care if it's me playing it or someone else. So, you know, I never, from that point of view, I never really realized like, hey, this is a job. But as I said, and then at some point, like I was 19 or so, and I was living with my mom. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, the blue envelopes and a lot of them. And I, I didn't know shit about it. I was like, yeah, whatever. So yeah, it's a long story, but you know, it's, 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 uh, yeah, it, it took me a lot of stress, <laughs> actually still. <laughs> but no, that this was really the moment when I realized, like, fuck, okay. I thought it was, I thought it was all fun, you know. I'm playing music. I don't even need to get paid, you know. I, I didn't get paid for a lot of times. I mean, obviously I had a prize, but I just didn't send an invoice because I've really, you know, I loved it. And this is also what made the IRS problem bigger. So yeah, this is definitely the moment that I realized, shit, this is a job. And even now, 15 years later, I mean, you know, I take the DJing and experiencing music in, in the same way. But, you know, the whole financial and the whole managing side behind it, you, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's like every time when I have to call my bookkeeper or every time I see something that has to do with money, except for spending it, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I, I feel dead from the inside. I just die a little bit, you know? So and that's when I really realized oh shit this is a, this is still a job you know